In theoretical physics, the pilot wave theory, also known as Bohmian mechanics, was the first known example of a hidden variable theory, presented by Louis de Broglie in 1927. Its more modern version, the de Broglie-Bohm theory, interprets quantum mechanics as a deterministic theory, avoiding troublesome notions such as wave-particle duality, instantaneous wave-function collapse, and the paradox of Schrödinger's cat but introducing nonlocality. The de Broglie-Bohm pilot wave theory is one of several equally valid interpretations of non-relativistic quantum mechanics. An extension to the relativistic case has been developed since the 1990s. Topic: History. In his 1926 paper, Max Born suggested that the wave function of Schrödinger's wave equation represents the probability density of finding a particle. From this idea, de Broglie developed the pilot wave theory, and worked out a function for the guiding wave. Initially, de Broglie proposed a double solution approach, in which the quantum object consists of a physical wave U wave in real space which has a spherical singular region that gives rise to particle-like behavior. In this initial form of his theory he did not have to postulate the existence of a quantum particle. He later formulated it as a theory in which a particle is accompanied by a pilot wave. He presented the pilot wave theory at the 1927 Solvay conference. However, Wolfgang Pauli raised an objection to it at the conference, saying that it did not deal properly with the case of inelastic scattering. De Broglie was not able to find a response to this objection, and he and Born abandoned the pilot wave approach. Unlike David Bohm years later, de Broglie did not complete his theory to encompass the many-particle case. The many-particle case shows mathematically that the energy dissipation in inelastic scattering could be distributed to the surrounding field structure by a yet unknown mechanism of the theory of hidden variables. In 1932, John von Neumann published a book, part of which claimed to prove that all hidden variable theories were impossible. This result was found to be flawed by Gret Hermann three years later, though this went unnoticed by the physics community for over 50 years. In 1952, David Bohm, dissatisfied with the prevailing orthodoxy, rediscovered de Broglie's pilot wave theory. Bohm developed pilot wave theory into what is now called the de Broglie-Bohm theory. The de Broglie-Bohm theory itself might have gone unnoticed by most physicists, if it had not been championed by John Bell, who also countered the objections to it. In 1987, John Bell rediscovered Gret Hermann's work, and thus showed the physics community that Pauli's and von Neumann's objections only showed that the pilot wave theory did not have locality. Eve Kuda and co-workers in 2010 reported a macroscopic pilot wave system in the form of walking droplets. This system was said to exhibit behavior of a pilot wave, heretofore considered to be reserved to microscopic phenomena. However, more careful fluid dynamics experiments have been carried out since 2015 by two American groups and one Danish team led by Thomas Bohr, grandson of Niels Bohr. These new experiments have not reproduced the apparent quantum behavior of the walking droplet system, which has now been attributed to faulty methodology and insufficient statistics. The pilot wave theory Principles <inaudible> 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 The pilot wave theory is a hidden variable theory. Consequently, the theory has realism, meaning that its concepts exist independently of the observer. The theory has determinism, the positions of the particles are considered to be the hidden variables. The observer not only doesn't know the precise value of these variables of the quantum system considered, and cannot know them precisely because any measurement disturbs them. On the other hand, he is himself defined not by the wave function of his atoms, but by their positions. 
So what he sees around himself are also the positions of the nearby things, not their wave functions. A collection of particles has an associated matter wave, which evolves according to the Schrödinger equation. Each particle follows a deterministic trajectory, which is guided by the wave function. Collectively, the density of the particles conforms to the magnitude of the wave function. The wave function is not influenced by the particle and can exist also as an empty wave function. The theory brings to light non-locality that is implicit in the non-relativistic formulation of quantum mechanics and uses it to satisfy Bell's theorem. These non-local effects can be shown to be compatible with the no-communication theorem, which prevents use of them for faster-than-light communication, and so is empirically compatible with relativity. Topic. Mathematical foundations To derive the de Broglie Bohm pilot wave for an electron, the quantum Lagrangian L T equals 1 2 M V 2 minus V plus Q display style L T equals frac 1 2 M V carrot 2 V plus Q where V display style V is the potential energy V display style V is the velocity and Q display style Q is the potential associated with the quantum force the particle being pushed by the wave function, is integrated along precisely one path the one the electron actually follows. This leads to the following formula for the Bohm propagator k q x 1 t 1 x 0 t 0 equals 1 j t 1 2 exp i t 0 t 1 l t d t Display style k carrot q x underscore one t underscore one x underscore zero t underscore zero equals frac one j t carrot frac one two exp left frac i h b a r int underscore t underscore zero carrot t underscore one l t d t right this propagator allows to track the electron precisely over time under the influence of the quantum potential Q display style Q topic derivation of the Schrodinger equation Pilot wave theory is based on Hamilton-Jacobi dynamics rather than Lagrangian or Hamiltonian dynamics. Using the Hamilton-Jacobi equation H Q S Q T plus S T Q T equals Zero Display style H left Math BF Q partial S over partial Math BF Q T right plus partial S over partial T left Math BF Q T right equals zero. It is possible to derive the Schrodinger equation. Consider a classical particle, the position of which is not known with certainty. We must deal with it statistically, so only the probability density rho x t display style rho x t is known. Probability must be conserved, i.e., rho 
d 3 x equals 1 display style int row d caret 3 x equals 1 for each t display style t therefore it must satisfy the continuity equation row t equals minus row v 1 display style partial row partial t equals nabla c d o t row v quad 1 where v x t display style v x t is the velocity of the particle in the hamilton jacobi formulation of classical mechanics velocity is given by v x t equals s x t m display style v x t equals frac nabla s x t m where s x t display style s x t is a solution of the hamilton jacobi equation minus s t equals s 2 2 m plus v tilde 2 Display style frac partial s partial t equals frac left nabla s right carrot two two meters plus tilde v quad two one display style one and two display style two can be combined into a single e complex equation by introducing the complex function psi equals rho e i s display style psi equals sqrt rho e caret frac is h b a r then the two equations are equivalent to i psi t equals minus 2 2 m 2 plus v tilde minus q psi display style i h b a r frac partial psi partial t equals left frac h b a r caret 2 2 meters nabla caret 2 plus tilde v q right psi quad with q equals minus 2 2 m 2 rho rho display style q equals frac h b a r caret 2 2 meters frac nabla caret 2 s q r t rho s q r t rho the time-dependent Schrödinger equation is obtained if we start with v tilde equals v plus q display style tilde v equals v plus q. The usual potential with an extra quantum potential q display style q. The quantum potential is the potential of the quantum force, which is proportional in approximation to the curvature of the amplitude of the wave function. Topic: Mathematical formulation for a single particle. The matter wave of de Broglie is described by the time-dependent Schrödinger equation. I psi t equals minus 
two two M two plus V Psi Display style I H B A R frac partial psi partial T equals left frac H B A R carrot two two meters nabla carrot two plus V right psi quad The complex wave function can be represented as psi equals Rho EXP I S Display style psi equals sqrt row exp left frac i s h b a r right. By plugging this into the Schrödinger equation, one can derive two new equations for the real variables. The first is the continuity equation for the probability density. Row. Display style row. Row. T. Plus. Row V equals zero. Display style partial row partial T plus nabla C D O T row V equals zero. Where the velocity field is defined by the guidance equation V R T equals S R T M display style vec v vec r t equals frac nabla s vec r t m. According to pilot wave theory, the point particle and the matter wave are both real and distinct physical entities. Unlike standard quantum mechanics, where particles and waves are considered to be the same entities, connected by wave-particle duality. The pilot wave guides the motion of the point particles as described by the guidance equation. Ordinary quantum mechanics and pilot wave theory are based on the same partial differential equation. The main difference is that in ordinary quantum mechanics, the Schrödinger equation is connected to reality by the Born postulate, which states that the probability density of the particle's position is given by rho equals psi 2 display style rho equals psi caret 2 pilot wave theory considers the guidance equation to be the fundamental law and sees the born rule as a derived concept the second equation is a modified hamilton jacobi equation for the action s display style s minus s T equals S two two M plus V plus Q Display style frac partial S partial T equals frac left nabla S right carrot two two meters plus V plus Q where Q is the quantum potential defined by Q equals minus two two M two row row Display style Q equals frac H B A R carrot two two meters frac nabla carrot two S Q R T row S Q R T row by neglecting Q, our equation is reduced to the Hamilton Jacobi equation of a classical point particle. Strictly speaking, this is only a semi classical limit, because the superposition principle still holds and one needs a decoherence mechanism to get rid of it. Interaction with the environment can provide this mechanism, so, the quantum potential is responsible for all the mysterious effects of quantum mechanics. One can also combine the modified Hamilton-Jacobi equation with the guidance equation to derive a quasi-Newtonian equation of motion m d d t v equals minus v plus q 
display style m frac d dt vec v equals nabla v plus q where the hydrodynamic time derivative is defined as d d t equals t plus v display style frac d dt equals frac partial partial t plus vec v c d o t nabla Topic: Mathematical formulation for multiple particles. The Schrödinger equation for the many-body wave function. Psi r one r two t. Display style psi vec r underscore one vec r underscore two c d o t s t is given by i psi t equals minus two two i equals one n I two M I plus V R one R two R N Psi Display style i h b a r frac partial psi partial t equals left frac h b a r caret two two sum underscore i equals one caret n frac nabla underscore i caret two m underscore i plus v math b f r underscore one math b f r underscore two c d o t s math b f r underscore n right psi the complex wave function can be represented as psi equals rho exp i s display style psi equals sqrt rho exp left frac i s h b a r right the pilot wave guides the motion of the particles the guidance equation for the jth particle is V J equals J S M J display style VEC V underscore J equals frac nabla underscore J S M underscore J the velocity of the JTH particle explicitly depends on the positions of the other particles this means that the theory is non-local. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Empty wave function. Lucien Hardy and John Stuart Bell have emphasized that in the de Broglie-Bohm picture of quantum mechanics there can exist empty waves represented by wave functions propagating in space and time but not carrying energy or momentum and not associated with a particle. The same concept was called ghost waves or Gespensterfelder ghost fields by Albert Einstein. The empty wave function notion has been discussed controversially. In contrast, the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics does not call for empty wave functions. Topic: See also Hydrodynamic quantum analogs Free-fall atomic model, modern search for electron trajectory